Sonic, the heart of your system. Alright guys, Dominic here for Kitgo, and as you can see I'm currently playing Battlefield 5 on the PC. I'm sure many of you know this game was recently patched to update and optimise the game for its RTX real-time ray tracing, so when the game first launched the um, kind of RTX features didn't really perform that well at all, I think it is safe to say. So today we're going to first look at what the difference is in terms of image quality when playing with DXR on Ultra versus DXR Off, but then we're also going to look at performance of the new update of Battlefield 5, and that will be on the RTX 2070, 2080 and 2080 Ti. So first we're going to look at the differences in image quality. So for this testing we're doing it all at 4K with our RTX 2080 Ti and that's purely just to show you the differences in visual fidelity between playing with DXR on Ultra versus DXR Off. So we're going to dive straight into our comparisons now. So starting with some more static kind of footage sections. Here you can really see the reflections more accurately represented with the DXR on in. You can see that on the ice, for instance, you get a more of a reflection from the bow itself. And again, looking through the windscreen on the car, with DXR off, you see straight through the windscreen with no reflection, whereas DXR on shows you a little bit more of the snowy street. Moving on though to look at uh, some scenes that have a bit more action and a bit more movement. While you can you can really tell the difference sometimes, like you can see here with the fire, you get uh, a much clearer reflection on the gun when there's uh, a fire explosion. I really think in Battlefield 5 you, you notice the most ray tracing when you kind of stop and look when it's a static image that you can see on screen like you know just a burning car or something or you look in the reflection on a lake. I find when things start to move a lot faster and you're kind of running around you're trying to shoot some things I find DXR tends to be that thing you could you could miss quite easily. If you stop in the middle of whatever you're doing and you go looking for it, you can definitely see the difference and overall I do really like the additional image quality that it brings. But as you kind of go around, you run around, you, maybe you're, you're fighting someone, maybe you're playing multiplayer for instance and you're really just trying to focus on getting your KD ratio up for instance, RTX definitely seems to be the kind of thing that you could very easily miss in the heat of battle. You definitely can still see the difference like we can see here. There's definite differences with DXR off versus DXR on. For me, the most thing I noticed the most when I was running around, uh, if there was an explosion, I'd clearly get the kind of flare reflection on my gun. You wouldn't get that with DXR off. But even then, when you're running around, you're in the heat of battle, like I said, it is very easy to miss these things. And that's why I think Battlefield 5 is a very fast paced game. I think you would definitely notice the difference more if you had RTX in a slower paced game, something maybe like a puzzler where you take your time, you really soak in the environment. Whereas I feel with Battlefield 5, it's a lot more high paced, so you're definitely rushing around a bit more. There's all a bit more frantic, so it becomes very easy to miss out on those RTX features. So that was the image quality comparison, so we're now going to be moving on to the performance. As mentioned, we're going to be using the RTX 2070, the RTX 2080 and the RTX 2080 Ti to test the recent Battlefield 5 patch. So the game actually gives you four different options for DXR quality. For the sake of this video, we're going to be testing with DXR off, DXR on low and DXR on ultra. And we did that for 1080p, 1440p and 4K resolution, so you can see, you know, the the full range of performance playing with the DXR features enabled. So I've got the charts up now, you can obviously find these on kitguru.net if you want to take a longer look. But in general, the overall performance takeaway for me is actually just how playable it is now with RTX on. So even the RTX 2070, which was posting, you know, actually really quite terrible frame rates when DXR was on before, now at 1080p that card is actually averaging over 80 FPS with DXR on Ultra. Yes there is still a fairly significant performance hit, you can lose you know up to 40, 50 or 60 FPS depending on the resolution and whether you go for DXR Ultra or DXR Low, but I think the thing that stands out for me now is that there is there's a definite choice there, you can either choose to have DXR off and you know go for the ultra high frame rates or you can still get very playable frame rates but now have DXR on set to Ultra for instance and you definitely get the benefit of that extra eye candy. 4K frame rates with DXR on have also improved to the point where the 2080 Ti can actually average over 50 FPS with DXR set to Ultra. 
But again, for me, I really think at the moment, 1440p seems to be the sweet spot. There, the 2080 Ti is averaging over 80 FPS. The 2080 can average over 70 FPS. And even the 2070 is still capable of a solid 60 FPS with DXR on Ultra. So this patch has definitely brought noticeable performance improvements uh, to the point where the game is, like I said, very playable. Even with a 2070, you'd be able to get away with that with DXR set to Ultra if you're playing at 1080p or even 1440p. I do think, like I mentioned previously, Battlefield 5 is perhaps not the best game to go looking for these kind of RTX features. It's more of a fast-paced FPS, so you want to be really kind of running around in a frenzy, shooting people. It's not really the moment for you to notice these things like explosions or reflections. But I really think there is potential for this ray tracing to work really, really well with a slower-paced game. And for me, The Witcher 3 definitely springs to mind. I can definitely um, imagine playing as Geralt, wandering around, doing some side quests or whatever it is, and then you really notice like a reflections on the lake or whatever it might be. So I really do think there is potential for RTX there in the future, so it'll be really interesting to see how development of that continues. For now though, this has been our look at the performance of Battlefield 5 with the RTX features enabled with the new December 5th patch. I'm Dominic for Kit Guru. hope you like this video. You can also check out the full article on kitguru.net to see the full performance breakdown as well as some further thoughts.